Good evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a new review for Death March episode number 7. And in this episode we get to continue the mysteries of last week's ending with the Red Helmet Vare Red and the little elf Mia, who is, on a side note, very very cute and really adorable. And I just want to hug her all day long like a teddy bear. God damn it. But yeah, all in all, this episode is focusing quite a bit on her, also a little bit on the werewolf, and we still get the usual Arisa joke because when Sato came back to the inn. He was basically greeted with a complaint from Arasa why he went to the brothel even though she is there. Totally ignoring the fact that she is in fact 11 years old. No, oh, her body in this world is 11 years old. So yeah, it's still an ongoing joke. Also Sato would never touch them. Hell. I would be really surprised if he would ever, ever touch Zena, who is around the age of his body in this world, because he is back in his teenage years, probably to make it kind of less creepy, or to justify why he is so calm around women, how, because he has the appear with the experience and I totally dig that so it really makes sense but for the anime I really want that they go back to Arisa and basically start explaining a bit about her circumstances and even just talking about her life in her previous life in Japan, how old she was, and all these kind of things. Because it's so obvious that she's much, much older than 11 years. But okay, that's just one topic. With Mia, she's a princess of the elves and she comes from quite a far away place. She was kidnapped and when she escaped she ran into the Weirat so basically brought her to this city. And this brings us to the end attack from last week and the mysterious shadowy figure that appeared at the end of this episode. So obviously this is going to be something that will be dealt with in the future of the story because bringing Mia back to her place it's no easy task so yeah and it will take quite a while so no worries she will be around for quite a while and all in all I just love the laid-back, comfy feeling of this show. We had the camping trip, kind of learning to how to camp. Then Sato was learning how to drive a horse-drawn cart. Really nice, really fluffy, just like Mia's description of spirits. She literally said, they are fluffy and sparkly. Basically, when she saw Sato for the first time, her only reaction was how beautiful, because he was all sparkly. Sparkles everywhere. And to the next day, when she saw him, she basically asked him if he's a spirit user, which he is not, but apparently there are a lot of spirits around him. 
So, yeah. And as an elf, even though not every elf can see spirits. So, yeah, she's kind of drawn to this. Quite interesting, though. But yeah, it kind of makes sense. But in the end, this show is just all about the fluff and the comfy feeling. So, yeah, I just want to go on about this, but it's getting quite boring anyway. So I think I will leave it at this. Still very enjoyable, very fun episode, and I really recommend this show and the light novel as well, if you just want something light to read. So yeah, as always, thanks for watching and I hope I will see you guys next time as well. See ya!